Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Sunset Harbor DLC. We are back here in Kelly Cl Oh my god! Wow! Kelly Creek. Wow, I can't say that, and that's the first time he's saying it. Welcome back to Kelly Creek. For today, I'm going to show you how to build a new town center. It started. So we're going to grab our medium, our medium-sized road. Uh, we don't have many options for medium-sized road, as you can tell. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and start building it. So let's go over about, can we hit 1,800 on the dot? 1,800. Come on, 18. We're basically building a square. I'm going to be honest with you guys. We're going to build a square. While I'm building the square, I'd like to thank Dean Webb for his Kelly Creek idea. I did place a poll on my community tab and Kelly Creek did win. So congratulations, Dean. I'm going to put your name up on the screen for a couple seconds. So I appreciate your suggestion. Um, everybody else, thank you guys for voting in the poll. I appreciate it. And now let's get started building this new town so i am going to move this road over a little bit but what we're going to do next is pretty simple i'm, I'm going to grab a one-way road and we're going to go over here so we're going to kind of look for this kind of above between these two nodes so see this two blue circles we're going to go out 720 to 80 and back up so what we're going to do over here is we're going to actually add uh we don't have trams yet or buses but we're going to put make this kind of like a makeshift transportation area where you can switch over to go to different lines into the city obviously we don't have bus lines yet guys so we can't do that or tram so don't worry about that but i was kind of future proofing this idea so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down over here we're going to hug right along here do not connect it to those roads and we're going to place that right up there so right now uh I don't know. We kind of have an upside down sad face if you're looking at it from the river's angle. Um, so <laughs> it does look a little weird. But um, anyways, uh, let's. So what we're gonna do is we're finally gonna build on it. So I'm gonna hit, actually hit the pause button real quick, so we don't have everything filling in and it's pure chaos. So uh, what we'll add first is I'm not sure if we can actually do this yet, but okay, yes we can. So I'm going to add the city hall so this this whole build is kind of built around the city hall and what it can actually you know basically around city hall essentially and this nice building so as you can tell it's a very prominent building um it's it actually kind of looks like a palace and whatnot all right enough talking so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna add some paths with trees along here so this all will make sense once everything fills in i'm just trying to show you what you guys can do instead of just placing in. So like, obviously you don't want a straight path. That's, that would be boring. So let's go to a curved path and just kind of hug along here. And we just want a little bit, a little bit. So I know that looks weird, but that's okay. Um, don't worry about it for the time being guys we will we are gonna do some detailing and you're gonna like the end result and it will look good so we're just adding these paths like I said this is just a little this is just a tiny little town so we're not trying to do anything too crazy so I'm gonna fast forward this so you guys don't have to see all of this so I'll be right back guys Okay guys, so now that we have our paths in place, I do want to add some detailing and then we'll go into adding the commercial and other stuff like that. So as you can tell, we do have parks that are available. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to squeeze any of the parks near here um, in around this area, which I really don't want to do. Um, and in general, the parks are too big. So what we're going to do is we are going to do some minor detailing. Actually, let's see if these will fit. Okay, so nothing will fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, the detailing that I mentioned. And what we're going to do is we are going to go over to miscellaneous. And so you can see how many things we have unlocked right now. But we do want to go over back to the trees and paths area. So see how this it, it look, the city hall looks like a palace. I mean, that is 
that is what I think it looks like, but that's my personal opinion. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple rock figures next to it, so big boulders. And we can add some over here, just to spruce it up. Now you're gonna be like, well, why are you adding big boulders? That's a great question. Well, we're gonna add some tr trees over here also, so it's not like it's gonna be naked by itself. So we're gonna add some trees in the corner. But this just adds kind of like some texture. So into, you know, it kind of makes it more of a park feel with all the trees and just look at the minor detailing work that you're able to see already just by adding a few trees. And I did add a couple trees along here and it just looks overall a lot better than it did before with. It. So basically this is kind of an open park feel to it. And you know, it just, it will look very, very good once everything's filled in. So let's keep, I'm going to keep going and I will do the detailing later as, you, as many of my subscribers already know that I do like to, um, you know, detail on my own, but just, this is just the trees. And so let's just keep going. I can do this all day and you guys will probably get bored out of your mind and click off the video. So let's keep going. So what we're going to do next is pretty simple. We actually did unlock one of, we did unlock districts. So what I would like to do is, first and foremost, I would actually like to actually create a district. So what we need to do is, well, first of all, this is not an industrial button, but we have we have our painting district. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and paint the district. So it is all painted and there we go. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to actually label it. So what I love doing is local organic produce. Yeah, local or oh, oh, wow, I tongue tied it organic and local produce. So I love those buildings. Those are green city buildings. So let's just take it. We we're not going to plop them in completely. We're going to we're going to make little buildings along here and we're going to make this a little it's just going to be a little place for shops. So it's like a little plaza on top of our little park that we already created. And over here, we can kind of do the same thing, just bigger buildings and we can leave room. Uh, we do need to create some residential in this area. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we do not, you know, actually we don't really have a demand for commercial to be honest with you. We have more of the residential demand if you look at the bottom of the screen, but I'm gonna fill this in guys and I will be right back five minutes later okay guys so now that this is all filled in I would like to create we need other services around here we just can't you know basically this is gonna be its own town so like I did in the last build I'm actually going to kind of go off that and we do need to add some sort of police over here so that's exactly why i'm over here and clicking over here so i'm going to add a police station how am i doing on money i have forty five thousand dollars so we need to actually keep an eye on that so let's add the police station i'm going to add a normal police station right here and then i do want on the opposite end of the spectrum so on the opposite end of over here i do want to add how 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 wide was that 240 there we go i do want to add a fire department nope that is health and medical there you go so we are going to have buildings that actually build in front and render so that's cool so we're just kind of keeping those in the background so what we'll do is we're actually going to expand out and create a neighborhood area for this small town center now eventually this will be completely wrapped around in residential but let's grab that medium sized road and we're going to bring it out here and then we'll bring it over here there you go now i'm going to bring this end over here now if i am good at this game it should yep and it should go completely like that all right so now we are going to have to fill in this neighborhood with residential and whoa we do not want the two-way road but let's come over here and just kind of go like this so we went straight no i don't want okay so i don't want the police in the way the police station in the way so we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna go kind of out like this so we fill in the squares 
but we're completely around the police station. There we go. And then we'll kind of go over here and then go in like this, and then go in like this. So real quick, um, before I run out of money, um, I am going to fast forward this rendering and I do realize I do need to pipe this. Two hours later. Okay guys, now we are back and it is pretty much filled in this build. Um, so far so good with this build and I just want to show you guys the end result of what actually happened. So I did add some residential and as you can tell, I did add a bunch of trees. I did add a lot of paths. So make sure when you're adding paths and trees and detailing like that, it all goes really well together and blends in. Like as you can tell over here, there's not too much blank space with the trees and whatnot. And you know, overall it looks really good. Like everything filled in nicely. Um, we do have some waterfront housing and I did add a couple schools. Like this is our school. So see how I added, I actually used the farm fencing and I just added kind of like a park behind the city and people are using the paths and whatnot. And I did the same thing for the high school. I just, you know, I just added some fencing and it's just little detailing like that will make your city a lot better off. And as you can tell, it looks pretty cool. And once we're able to get bus lines and trams over here, it's going to be a very bustling area and it's going to be awesome to see. So thank you guys for watching. I, you know, and look at, look how many people are using the paths and stuff like that. Like, isn't that cool? And like I said before, once we get the transportation up to here, it's going to be, be even better looking and you will have way more people using it and it's going to be great. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day and thank you.